here. This is the cake we have. It says thank you for coming here. So this is a thank you cake. Just so you'll know, this is a Notre Dame made us a special cake to say thank you for coming to the Holy Land and staying here. So uh, Father Dan's going to cut it. We'll see where, where his talents lie. All right, Father Dan, let's, let's see what you can do here. The pressure's on now. Everybody's looking. Oh my, he's shaking. It is good too. We, we've, uh, it's very tasty. Look at you. Oh, too big. Good, here we go. Father. It was awesome. So great. Beautiful experience. Uh, I just, it just makes me fall even more in love with the Lord, and I can't wait to delve even deeper into Scripture with this experience. Were you, were you safe? Very safe. The whole time. The Israeli army people even took a picture with me. <laughs> Very good. All right, we got another guy over here. I know he's just dying to tell what he thought of the Oh, show. absolutely. You're a seminarian. I'm a seminarian at Notre Dame Seminary in New Orleans. Uh, and what did you think of that trip? I thought it was absolutely amazing. Truly a pilgrimage that I can use in my uh, theological studies. It will help me appreciate all that, uh, that I need to understand uh, before uh, getting into biblical studies and, and, and so forth. I mean, it's going to take a little while to process everything that's been presented, but it's... Uh, Do you it's feel safe? Truly, I was absolutely, absolutely... Why are positive. Americans afraid? I mean, that's... I have no idea. The, the media deceives us, and uh, this is absolutely a wonderful place with wonderful people. Thanks for coming with us. Uh-oh, was... here's somebody else. What do you think of the trip? <laughs> we had a fantastic time. One of the greatest time. experiences of our life. It, it was really just, was. It was awesome. We had such a great time. We always felt well taken care of. We got to see so many amazing sights that we never would have dreamt that we would have seen. So it was fabulous. I can't believe, I can't believe everything. So, and by the grace of God, we'll go on another tour with you. We'd love to have you. Thanks, thanks for trusting us. Thanks for coming with us. It was wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Hi. This is Hi. Bill and Kathy Kirschie from Illinois. We, we had a great time, saw so many things um, while we were here, and um, very touching and moving experience. We would do it again. At no time were we scared or worried about our safety. Everybody should come and visit the Holy Land with Steve and, and his wife. Janet. You guys were a lot of fun. And I know you're a historian. I enjoyed talking history with you, so thanks for trusting us. Okay. Uh oh, welcome. here's somebody else. What do you think? Oh, it was just the most awesome experience I've, I've had. It was just a, a wonderful pilgrimage. Steve and Janet did such a great job keeping us, um, getting us to all the holy sites. We were fun to have along. Thank you. Thank you, too. Someone from the Acton Institute that re writes articles for it, and I read her articles. What did you think of the trip? I thought it was great. I, it really opened my eyes. I had no idea you could cover this much ground in such a short amount of time, but Steve and Janet Ray, they get it done. So it was awesome. I really enjoyed it. Thanks for trusting us. <laughs> yeah. No, I'd refer it to anyone, really. It was a great experience. So. Pilgrimage. How did well, you enjoy it? Well, this is my first time with you, so... <laughs> <laughs> this is Amir, the guy that works with me. What do you think of this group? I think it was a wonderful group. It was a good way to end the year with this group and start a new year. Perfect. Just perfect. Like all of your groups, Steve. I think we've done 60 you, or 70 groups together we now. We did, but I don't know how you do it, but you kind of handpick them, and, and they're always good groups. Yep, they are. Look at those folks. Good. Great folks. All right, Father Marvelous. Darren, you're a perfectionist, canon law yeah. stu student from Rome. What did you think of the trip? This has blown all of my expectations far out of the water. Well, this is going to be bad. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> Usually when I travel with large groups of people, there's a moment or five that I think, this was a really bad idea. <laughs> but that never entered my mind throughout the last seven or eight days, however many days it's been. Uh, it's been fantastic. Good. 
fun, great bunch of people. I learned, I thought I learned a lot and I learned it was just great to follow Jesus' footprints. I'm closer in my faith and the whole thing ended when we just got out of Mass and they were doing Silent Night and I just couldn't stop crying. <laughs> this is just powerful. Steve and Janet are the best. Thank you. You are wonderful. <laughs> Mark, Thank you. you are the op uh, operations manager at Corporate Travel. You're the one that helps me plan all these things. And this is the first time in 10 years you got to come and see what we've done together. What do you think? Poetry in motion. Couldn't have been any better. Uh, Steve and Janet have it down to a science. Uh, people see everything that could possibly see in the time that we have. And uh, it's very emotional, very spiritual, and uh, looking forward to another opportunity to travel with Steve and Janet in the future. Glad you got to come with us finally and see what we do together. Thank you. <laughs> it, it was awesome. It was great. It was fun, well organized, safe. Everything was great. Couldn't have asked for more. <laughs> this is Paul Brandenburg. He's my oldest friend. I don't mean in years how old he is, but we've been friends since we were three years old or so. And because I know this guy, I had high expectations. Nonetheless, he exceeded every one of them. In fact, this whole pilgrimage was beyond imagination. Just incredible, extraordinary adventure of a lifetime. And you brought your whole family. Brought the whole family. I think it was just a great experience for all of us. Thank you. Just great. Thanks for coming. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Hello, Sam. How would you hi, like this trip? Hi. Very good. Excellent people. And you're excellent a, travel agent. You're a good driver. Thank you, Abu Jesse. You're welcome. I want to thank you all for trusting us to come. I know all your family said it was dangerous. You shouldn't go. You're going to get killed over there. Why would you want to go to the Middle East? But y'all had a good time, didn't you? Yeah. 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 All right. And I know you want to hear it one more time, so here it goes. <laughs> anyway, Janet has something to say. We used to be able to have mass in front of the Grotto of the Annunciation until recently when they closed it and said uh, no more masses there. But one of my favorite homilies ever was there, and the priest said it this way. He said, God and the angels were holding their breath, holding their breath, waiting for Mary to say yes. Will she say yes and say yes and be the mother of my son? Will she say yes? And Mary said yes, and all of heaven rejoiced. And then he said, God is holding his breath, holding his breath every morning. Will Janet say yes? Will Janet go to Iraq for me? Will Janet go speak to this person for me? Will Janet do that for me? God is holding his breath. So every morning I have a vision of God holding his breath. Will Janet do that for me today? <laughs> So I don't always say yes perfectly, but it is my goal to follow the Blessed Mother's example. And I don't know why the Lord called you on this particular trip with these particular people, but I do pray that you will be able to say yes to whatever the Lord wants you to do. He's holding his breath, waiting for your yes too. So as I told you before, I prayed for all of you before I even knew your names that God would bring the people that he wants on these trips. And I don't know why, I don't know what the Lord has in store for you, but he's waiting for your yes too. Okay. So please pray and ask the Lord what he wants and just trust that he's gonna give you special blessings as the days come and all these things start unfolding in your hearts. So God bless you all and safe travels and keep us in your prayers too, please. Thanks. Thank you, Janet. Father Mike is here. Make, make sure you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> and besides that, can you hold this for any second? I got a very important letter here from the Vatican. And um, Father Danny is going to be staying here in Notre Dame, and I'm going to Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> yes! yes! <laughs> in your face! <laughs> <laughs> And today I was thinking of Steve because I was down in the hike, the Wadi Kelt hike. That oh, was that was so fun. We got to do it again. And, um, you know, you can find that on Facebook if you want or on Twitter. Um, Steve can give you the, the connection there, you know. It's, it don't look for my profile on Facebook. Look for the page, Father Eamon. If you just put in FR space EAM, you'll find it. And then you get continual things about the Holy Land. Little pieces that help encourage people to keep coming. 
Because yeah. you bring a lot of blessing here, you didn't realize that. You think you're just bringing blessing home. But there's a huge bridge of blessings taking place. You bring blessings and you bring blessings home. Imagine the Holy Land without two or three million Christians coming here on pilgrimage, praying on the streets. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows it. The tourist ministry, the Israeli government knows it. Everybody knows it. They see you everywhere. And you're staking a claim for the Christian presence, but you're praying here. You're radiating the presence of Christ. This is a huge boost here for the mission of the church, which is to radiate Christ. So encourage others to come. You know, we're looking out on the Mount of Olives. You see the ascension up there? And that's where Jesus took off. So this is a great place to take off. He said he'd be back again, but Steve has been back a lot more before him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Father. So you can beat Jesus to the second coming. And uh, <clears throat> I give you a blessing for the trip. Through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the angels and saints, may Almighty God bless you and bring you safely home. And safely home to heaven once you fulfill your mission in this world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. God bless you, Father. Let's keep us in your prayers. Yes. To the airport. Always sad to see him go. Driving under the Vatican flag. What a wonderful group it was and what a wonderful pilgrimage. Everything went perfectly.